and that's one of the reasons I started this channel so I can learn about all these new different things that exist in the world and kind of expand my mind uh, mm -hmm. talk to people that are doing cool stuff and then kind of motivate myself to do it as well I think that's like with any sport whether it be cycling or skiing or whatever right you show up as a neophyte with whatever gear you can afford at the time and you're comparing yourself to these people that have been doing it for five or ten years right so they've got all the the cool bits and bobs and they've got some of that experience but i think like true to form i mean you'll meet people that have their own little nose up in the air but the majority of in the cycling aspect is everyone's been there and there's still a lot of people that carry that mantra about it doesn't matter what you have, right? So there still is high-end racers who show up with pretty battered, you know, put together, hobbled together gear and are racing on an old bike and they still get out there and give her. And that just, mm -hmm. I think, really shows that, that um, you know, off-road touring and bike packing is very accessible. A lot of people that I talk to that, that are wanting to get into it are all about like, oh, well, I need this bag and I need that bag. And I, it's like, no, you don't. You need to throw your tent on the front of your handlebars with a bungee cord. And you need to take a backpack and throw your sleeping bag in the bottom of it because it's going to be the biggest thing. Throw a little bit of food in the top and ride to your closest campground out of town and make an overnight of it and pick some different trails or places that you haven't ridden to get there and that's it that's essentially how you can start and you don't need lots of fancy stuff you know if you've got a tent or something that's a shelter depending on where you live for some people it's warm enough that it's just a tarp over top in case it rains and they sleep on the ground and that's it um so it's really it's very accessible as long as your bike is in reasonably good condition and you can get there and back and ride within your you know your comfort zone for distance that's how easy it is to enter bike packing if you want to look at it that way yes it's nice to have good gear and light gear and small gear but there's a time for that you don't need to have everything super light super small and compact and even my own gear, I'm starting to expand on that. I'm starting to enjoy bringing a frying pan with me again, rather than a one hot cook, right? So, I mean, it's uh, it's all tailorable and scalable. And that's the thing. That's what I like about it. Is it's, it's purely scalable from being, you know, your beginning ride to big, huge, you know, monthly or yearly expeditions where it takes you a year and a half to go ride something, right?